From your hyperlocal weather source, this is your Norcast weather update. As a medical director, I work closely with all our providers as well as the nursing staff to ensure we provide top-notch quality care for all our residents. Seeing every resident achieving their goal and being satisfied with our care gives me a lot of pride to be part of the team of preferred care at Epsecon. Hi everybody, meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. If you thought today was kind of hot and humid, I am sorry to report that tomorrow is going to be a bit swampier, but at least the rest of this evening looks overall pretty nice. If you wanted to get outside, enjoy the fire pit, your back porch, the backyard, whatever, you can pretty much get away with it. The exception being a couple of isolated little storms that are going to try to roll across our area, but the odds are very low and most people are going to be able to just get outside and enjoy our kind of humid but nice evening. Those temperatures staying very warm all the way through till after sunset. We will still be in the 70s by about 9 o'clock. That's pretty warm considering uh, that typically we're we're still in the low 70s for our warmest point during the day. Today was nice and dry. Again, there's a couple of little storms that are trying to move across our area right now, but really tomorrow is where we start to deal with more rain and more chances for thunderstorms. We have more activity rolling in towards the end of the weekend and into the start of next week, but I promise you no single day is going to be a washout. We will still be seeing uh, bouts of sunshine both tomorrow as well as in Saturday and Sunday and even Monday. So your Memorial Day weekend is still gonna be intact. It's not gonna be 10 out of 10, but it's still going to be nice. You're going to have plenty of opportunities to get outside and enjoy our nice swampy weather. Those dew points are picking up tomorrow into the upper 60s. You're going to feel that difference. Just a lot of moisture moving in overnight tonight and sticking around for tomorrow. Now we do see a little bit of a cold front move through Thursday. That'll drop those dew points slightly back into the 60s, but that's still not very comfortable. It's still a little swampy out there all weekend long. So if you wanted to get out and enjoy the humidity, uh, you'll be able to because while there are chances for rain, no one single day is going to be extremely rainy or a total washout. Tomorrow we are seeing an opportunity for some severe thunderstorms. For us, it's just an isolated risk for severe thunderstorms. And even then, as far as what we're concerned about, tornado activity, no, maybe some small hail, some stronger wind gusts. But there's a really interesting setup that could kind of foil that opportunity for severe weather. Now, if we did see some stronger storms, they would be in the late afternoon and into the evening. And we are gonna see some storms in the evening, but as far as the chance for severe weather, that could be limited. What are we really concerned about? Like I said, we're gonna be seeing some heavy rain, a little bit of some downpour activity, some stronger wind gusts, probably closer to 35, 40 miles an hour, but as far as tornado opportunity, that's next to zero. And we could be seeing some isolated power outages, not anything widespread, just uh, outages kind of due to uh, the stronger wind gusts, maybe knocking over some tree limbs and knocking over maybe some of those trees that are not rooted so well. but. Overall, that'll be extremely isolated and not a widespread power outage kind of situation. As far as the temperature trend is concerned, we're staying very mild for the next couple of days. We'll be seeing those temperatures staying in the 80s all the way into the start of next week. So let's talk about what we're tracking for later on this evening and into tomorrow. There's a lot of scattered little storms kind of working their way towards the East Coast. That's what's going to be trying to reach our area later on this evening. Most of it kind of fizzles out and doesn't actually reach the east coast at all. Here's the, the interesting part for tomorrow. Some of the models are hinting at an earlier round of activity, maybe during that 10, 11 o'clock time frame. It'll be a, some thunder, some lightning, uh, and really a couple of isolated downpours. But this would be a good thing because if we have those storms move in early before there's potential for severe weather, they will use up some of the energy that our main line of storms could have used. So if the energy is already kind of used up and the atmosphere is already rolled over by the time the actual cold front moves in, that will limit the possibility for some of those stronger, more organized storms to form. So hopefully we do see some storms tomorrow morning. I know it's kind of crazy to think about it that way, but if we have that early line move in, that'll limit our afternoon activity. Either way, you are going to be seeing a second line of activity as that front moves through, but hopefully it's just a, a little bit of some widespread rain and a couple of stronger wind gusts. Looking further out to the west, this is what we're going to be keeping an eye on as we look forward to early next week. A little bit of some moisture moving across Kentucky and Tennessee by Friday night 
could be rolling in as early as Saturday, giving us a chance for some more scattered storms. Tomorrow, though, the whole day is not going to be a total washout. Even if we do see two rounds of activity, you'll have a gap in the, between the two where you'll see some sunshine. Again, very warm temperatures in the mid 80s, but feeling even warmer with the humidity being on the rise. For your Memorial Day weekend, overall things look pretty good. Friday will be nice, Saturday will be nice, even Sunday and Monday. Even with the chance for some showers and thunderstorms, the afternoons will be nice and you will be seeing some chances to get outside and do whatever you would like to get done for this weekend. Next week, we'll see uh, some more seasonable temperatures move back in. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll check back in with you later on tonight with your bedtime forecast.